Hi there, my brothers and sisters in Yeshua. In this video, I wanted to go over a dream that I had on Tuesday. I believe it was Tuesday. If not, it was Wednesday, okay? Before I had this dream, I remember conversating with the Lord, and I remember um, writing down, basically asking God, okay? And this is what I normally do. Like if I'm reading and studying scriptures, and the Holy Spirit will lead me to believe certain events that are that are due to happen in our lives and also in the last days. I would want to, if I'm still confused after studying the scripture, because the thing is, what I fear is my imagination surpassing what God is attempting to reveal to us, okay? And I always pray to the Lord. Don't allow my imagination to supersede what you are trying to reveal to me. If so, I'm going to be lost. And that's what I don't want. I don't want to be deceived. And I remind God every day, every time I get a chance, I remind him I don't want to be deceived in in these last days. And when I'm uh, curious or um, uncertain of certain uh, scriptures and meanings and how things will be developing in these last days, I ask God. Either I ask him verbally, okay, with a sincere heart, a submissive heart, willing to heed to whatever he says, even if it is uh, taking my life, okay? Before I continue, let me give all praise and glory to our Father who sits on his throne. All right, all glory to our Father. Give all praise and glory to Yeshua. And also thanking the Holy Spirit for revealing all truths. All right, as we continue, I have a notepad where I would, if I'm curious or uncertain, I would uh, write what I'm curious or asking a question to God. Because the thing is, I have enough faith. We should have enough faith to know when we ask God something, we need to be patient. And with us being patient, he's going to reveal it if we are, if we are his children, okay? So one night, though I knew, but I said, let me ask God because I don't want to hold on to me saying I knew it and then me being deceived at the end. Okay. This is no lie. I'm reading this verbatim from what I wrote on Tuesday. I think it was Tuesday or Wednesday. Asking God to confirm. I said, uh, Father, you said ask and you shall receive. I'm not asking anyone but you because I know you know all things. You are my God. Okay, my brothers and sisters, this is what I ask. And then on the next line I wrote, will there be a pre-rapture where others will be left behind? And then I continued and wrote, Give me understanding as I study your word. That's all I wrote. Okay? And down that list, I start writing other things that I'm uncertain of. Well, I know, but I want the Lord to confirm that with me. I don't want to just say, I know, I know, and then not allow any... Not allow him to say, yes, this is what I meant, Marcia, or no, Marcia, this is not right. I want God to confirm that. Because in the last days, when I stand before him on the throne, I will say, Lord, I trusted you to reveal all these things to me, okay? So with this dream, I ask him, will there be a pre-rapture where you would leave others behind? And me studying scriptures in the beginning of my walk, I believe that there was going to be a pre-trip rapture. And the only reason that I believe that this was going to be a pre-trip rapture, because in the beginning of my walk being a, a, new Christ, a newborn Christian, I had itchy ears. Okay? When I heard of the pre-trip rapture, I didn't hear it from studying scripture. I heard them from teachers, prophets, false. Now that I know, they were false. 
I had itchy ears because the thing is I couldn't see myself suffering and dying for God, so I believed in the pre-trip rapture. But as I continue to study, as I continue to submit myself, as I continue to say, you know what, Lord, I don't care what happens to me. I just want to know the truth. And with me knowing the truth, let me brace myself for whatever would happen to me, even up to the point where I will face uh, torture, persecution, even death for you. I just want to know the truth. And when I begin to open myself up, then the Lord will begin to reveal the preacher rapture is false. Okay? That's at that time, that's when I begin that's when I no longer believe in a preacher rapture. But if you believe in a preacher rapture, my brothers and sisters in Yeshua, that's you. I'm not condoning you, that's you. But I ask that you uh seek the Lord and ask for your own personal confirmation. Okay? So I wrote that down. I remember, and I put, uh, placed it under my pillow, and I went to bed. I said, okay, I asked the Lord with a sincere heart. I know he will answer me, but I don't know when. Because there's times when I ask the Lord, he will answer me within that night, a week, a month, and sometimes even a year. But that very night, my brothers and sisters in Yeshua, I promise you, I had a dream. Me, This, is, this was me being submissive when I asked him. So I said, okay, Lord, I believe this, but I want you to confirm that. And I will be open to whatever you confirm. All right. <clears throat> that night I had a dream. In my dream, I lived, I was, I was, I'm, I'm sorry, I lived in my um, childhood home where it was my mother and my father. Me and my siblings. My childhood home, I, I live where I lived, and my father still lives there now. In this neighborhood, there's only one entrance. You can only come to the front. There's only one entrance. You come in through the main entrance and you leave through the main entrance. There's no other way to get in. There's no other way to get out. Okay, heed that. So in this dream, I was at my childhood home. Though I'm a grown-up, in this dream, I was in, I was still attending school or going to school to the point where I had to get up in this dream to uh, take the bus, to take the school bus. So before I left to take the school bus, I looked at my watch and it was 8 o'clock. And in this dream, it was made known to me that the bus comes at 7 so me, I ran out of my father's house, and I ran down the street, and I seen the bus. And I, like, waved my hand, telling the bus that I'm here. Wait, 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 wait for me. I'm here. Mind you, I have my little cousin. She was with me as well. And the bus driver glanced at me. He kept looking straight, and he kept driving. He didn't pick me up. He basically was saying, you're late. He kept driving. And... Basically, what he would in in real life, the bus driver would stop at three or four different locations throughout the neighborhood before he left to pick students up to go to school. So after he drove by, I said, "Well, I'm going to catch him at the entrance because there's no other way to get out." So uh, I took m me and my cousin and uh, we ran to the front. So I was like, okay, so while he goes and picks up the other ones, I can stay, I can wait for him at the exit, and then maybe he will pick me up. So I run to the front exit, and what I noticed is that that front exit was blocked off. And I was like, how did he come in? So I was still able to walk through, okay, and there was some construction workers right next to um, where it was blocked off. And they asked me, I was like, what you waiting for? I said, I'm waiting for the bus to come this way so I can catch the bus because I missed it. And then one of the construction workers said, the bus didn't come through here. And he's, he's not he's not going to exit here. He's going to exit through the side. And I was like, what? He's like, yeah, you, you do you not see it's cut off. 
no one can come in and no one can get out. He went. He went through the. Uh, he came through the side, and he's going to leave through the side. And I was puzzled in this dream, and also I was upset because I missed the bus. Okay. And as I was walking back to my uh, father and my mother's home where I was raised, I noticed the bus dro drove by. And I just looked at it, and I was like, okay, whatever. So I started to walk home. And then I woke up. I woke up. My brothers and sisters, I wasn't in a good mood. I was down. Because I knew this dream was a parable. And basically the Lord seen what I asked and he answered it. This dream was a parable, but hear me out to the end, okay? I walked around down, upset, confused a little bit, saying, asking the Lord, Lord, why was I left? Okay, because the thing is the bus represented Christ. Second, I mean, yes, it represented Christ. The people who were able to get on that bus represented the uh, uh, the rapture. The ones who were left or who missed the bus, meaning that they were, quote, unquote, left behind, okay? This is the um, doctrine that everyone has going around. And the bus, in I mean, I'm sorry, the uh, dream ended. I walked around my whole day questioning, what am I doing wrong? I know I'm born again. I know I'm serving the Lord with all of my heart. I have a desire and a passion for Christ. I love Christ. Any sin in me, I make sure I check it and I change myself. I was just questioning myself throughout the day. And then at the end of the day, I, um, at the end of uh, the day, I mean, I was going. I was questioning myself while I was at work, and then after I was done with work, I was I laid on my bed, and I was just thinking, and I started praying to the Lord. I said, Lord, what am I doing wrong? Is there something in me that you see that you say that I'm not ready? Or Lord. If you take some people and leave me behind to help others, I'll understand that. And I will accept it, Lord, if that's your will. Okay? This is being submissive. And I actually said that. But at the same time, I was saying that I was a bit down. But if this was true, then after a while, I would have been okay with that. All right? So while I was praying and talking to the Lord, I don't know where... A verse popped into my head. I mean, my brothers and sisters in Yeshua, I wasn't thinking about scripture. I was just thinking about that dream. A verse popped into my head out of nowhere. I did not know exactly where that verse was. But I'm going to read it to you. Because after, after I heard it in my mind, I went and I looked it up. Okay? Listen to it. Listen to this. It says, this is in John chapter 10. It says, most surely, I say to you, he who does not enter the sheepfold by the door, but climbs up some other way, the same is a thief and a robber. But he who enters by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. Hear that, my brothers and sisters in Yeshua. I mean, I leaned over my bed. I was talking to the Lord. The Lord seen the concern of my heart. But at the same time, I was willing. I was like, okay, if I'm left behind, maybe God has a purpose, okay? A reason why this, this occurred. But then out of nowhere, not even thinking about Scripture, this is what came to my mind. Christ said this in the book of John, chapter 10. He said, most surely I say to you, he who does not enter the sheepfold by the door, but climbs up some other way. The same as a thief and a robber. But he who enters by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. My brothers and sisters in Yeshua, after I read that, I said, this is crazy. I was surprised. I was surprised. I said, wow. Because the thing is, I believed at that moment, the thing is, I I made I I I put out videos where I preached about there's no pre-trip rapture. 
but I wanted to confirm with the Lord as far as what I believe. Is this true? Okay. And I, I, I wrote it down and I asked him. And I waited. And I did not know that he was going to answer that very night. And that's exactly what he did. For in my father's neighborhood, like I said, there's only one entrance. You can come in the front and you will have to leave through the front. You can't go no other way. So in this dream, the front was blocked off. And there was a construction worker saying, no, this is blocked off. The bus went through the, came through the side and will lead through the side. I promise my brothers and sisters in Yeshua, I will stand before the throne of the Lord. And I will very well say to the Lord, and he knows I received this dream. And he knows as I laid there, that main scripture came to my mind. I wasn't thinking about scripture. For what the Lord is saying that there will be a false rapture. But he said false messiahs. You hear that? False messiahs. That's a false messiahs with an S. Multiple, not just one. False messiahs shall rise. False prophets shall also rise and deceive many. They will do marvelous works and wonders and miracles to the point that it will be so good, so great that they would, if they could, if it were possible, they would have deceived the very elect. Those who are truly following God with their whole hearts, if it was possible, they would have even deceived those who truly follow Christ. I mean, that's why we need to get confirmation from the Lord for whatever we believe and have a submissive heart. Because if I did not ask Christ in prayer, if he did not reveal this to me in a dream, if a pre-trip rapture were to occur... My mind would have thought that maybe a pre-trip rapture is true. And I would have been discombobulated. My mind would have been going left and right. This is this is why when we read scripture, go to Christ with a submissive, a sincere heart. Do not hold what you believe in stone. Be submissive. Ask the Lord for for to his, his children, if you are submissive, he will reveal to you what is truth. But the thing is, you have to accept it. And now I accept it. So there will be a false pre-trib rapture, which will deceive many. And after deceiving many, yes. Those who don't hold on to scripture, those who do not hold on or know the true God, they will fall away. They will say, well, I don't have hope after that. But this is only a test. And I thank the Father. I thank Yeshua. I thank and glorify the Holy Spirit for revealing all of these things. My brothers and sisters in Yeshua, if you believe in a pre-trip rapture, I can't say anything. I can't say anything, but if that's what you believe, then that's what you believe. But I questioned it. I asked the Lord myself, having a submissive heart, is this true? Will people be left behind? In my dream, which was a parable, he showed me that there would be a false rapture. But after that, if this were to occur, many people will fall away because they they will feel like that Christ has left them, left them. But the thing is, it is not Christ. Christ said in John 10, that person who climbs on the side is a thief and a robber. It is not him. For Christ said, many false messiahs will arise, doing great wonders. Great wonders is the pre-trip. Great wonders is miracles. All of these things. Heed that, my brothers and sisters in Yeshua. I wanted to put that dream out there. Hold on to the word of God. 
ask him for confirmation in what you read in scripture. Repent of your sins so that you may receive the Holy Spirit. For it is the Holy Spirit that reveals all these truths to you. You want truths? The Holy Spirit will give it to you. Do not harden your hearts. When you harden your hearts and you refuse to accept the truth, then yes, you will be deceived in the last days. Open your heart. Accept whatever the Lord reveals to you. And ask for confirmation. Study scripture. Read scripture. Repent of your sins. Give your life to the Lord. Give your whole life to the Lord. And be submissive to him. And he will guide you to all truths. He will so show you all truths. When the world's trying to deceive you with this and that, God will say, pay attention to me, and I will reveal all these things just like I did John the Baptist, just like I did the 12 disciples, just like I did to Apostle Paul and uh, John in the last days in the book of Revelation. He revealed all these things to what his people, his children, those who are submitted to him. He that my brothers and sisters in Yeshua, y'all take care.